Hello and welcome to all of those guys, gals, and non-binary pals of the soap making community. My name is Robin and I'm the owner and soap maker here at Nest Soapery. And it's my pleasure to come onto YouTube every once in a while and show you how to make soap, how to do things for your own business that are going to save you some money and help the environment a little bit. I pride myself on making sure that all of my packaging is fully compostable or recyclable, and I hope that many other people will do the same. So I figured, why not give you the tools to do it for yourself? In the last video, we talked about how to wrap soaps that are square or rectangular, or just soaps that don't have a really textured top. If you wanna watch that video, you can click this card right here. Super easy process of measuring your bar of soap, figuring out how big your label needs to be, and then going into Canva to design it and then printing it from your home computer. But today we're gonna to be talking about how to wrap soaps that look like this. Nice textured top, and you want people to be able to see it and smell it really easily. The process that I'm gonna go through today also really works well if you have square or rectangular bars, but you want people to be able to see part of the soap bar or to be able to smell it really nice and easily. So stay tuned, I'm gonna walk you right on through how to measure your bar of soap to figure out how big your label needs to be. Then we're gonna go into Canva, we're gonna design it together, and then I'm gonna bring it into Word and show you how I do that. How I print three to a page for these labels, saving as much paper as possible and making it super easy on you. All right, without further ado, let's get started on designing your custom soap wrappers. To work out how big I want my label to be, I'm using this scrap piece of paper. It's about half of an 8.5 by 11 sheet, and I know that 8.5 inches is plenty to wrap around the entire bar, so now I just need to figure out how tall the label needs to be. The measurements on this bar of soap are 2.7 inches wide and about 3 inches tall. And this is made with a 42 ounce mold, you know, the standard 10 inch one that most soap makers start off with. I also cut my soaps at about one inch in thickness. And for that reason, I'm going to be moving my bar of soap close to the bottom of the piece of paper, but giving it one inch of clearance. And that should give us enough room to cover the entire base of the bar of soap with our wrapper. Next, I'm putting my ruler down on the piece of paper, and I'm essentially placing it so that the end of the ruler is where I want my label to end on my bar of soap. And using a pen, I'm going to draw a line all the way across the piece of paper so that I can use this as a sort of template for when I design my full and final label. On this template, I'm adding all of my measurements, so three and a half inches for the height, one inch of clearance on the bottom, and then 2.7 inches wide for the soap. Essentially creating a frame for where the soap will be laying when I start folding the paper around the soap. And then this gives me a really good idea of where the label information needs to go. So now I'm able to kind of sketch in a little frame for where I want to put all of the information about my soap. I'll be using this when I go into Canva and making sure to put all of the information that needs to be present on a soap label, like my soap company's name, the name of this particular bar of soap, as well as any details I want to include about the ingredients or fragrance, and the weight that needs to be in ounces and grams. And don't forget, somewhere on your label you're going to need to put the address or location of your business as well as the ingredients. Now I'm going to bring all of these measurements into Canva and start designing my soap label. Once you've got Canva open, you're going to want to create a new custom-sized project and you're going to make it 8.5 inches wide by 3.5 inches tall. That's the measurements that we worked out using our paper template just a minute ago. The first part that I always tackle is the background because I think that this leaves the biggest impact when it comes to the design of the label. So you can head on in to the elements search in Canva and start looking for anything that you think would work well for your company. So you can do some geometric designs, stripes, polka dots, anything that you think would be great. And you know what? You can really have fun with this. If you make goat milk soap, maybe you can put little goats on your wrapper. Or if you make soap with lots of honey in it, maybe you put honeycomb or little bees. Really try to have fun with it because this is going to give a first impression to a lot of your new customers. Once you have your background finished, you can start working on the actual information on the label. So I'm adding here a rectangle and turning it white so that it will not print when it finally does go through my printer. 
and I'm adding a black border to delineate between the soap label information and the background. And on here, you're going to want to add all of those important bits that we talked about earlier. The name of your company, the name of your soap, so on and so forth. For the ingredients, I like to put a rectangle that's going to eventually make its way to the back of the bar. So I'm grabbing a rectangle, making it white, and I'm moving it over to the far left side, which will be the back side of the bar once everything is fully wrapped. And here I'm adding all of my ingredients, and this is a great place for you to put the location of your soap business. Once you're pleased with what you've come up with, all you need to do is hit this down arrow on the top right of the screen and download it. From here, you can print it from your phone if that's something that you're able to do, but I actually like to go onto my computer and bring it into Word so that I can print three to one page. So let's do that now. Okay, and now I'm gonna give you a real behind the scenes look of what goes on on my computer as I'm trying to print all of this up. So I'm here on Canva, and on the computer version of it, you have to scroll down a little bit on the home page to reach your recent designs. I'm gonna click our label here, and this is going to open up the label so that we can design it if we wanted to. I've already designed it on my phone, so I'm actually just hopping on the computer so that I can download it, load it into Word, and print it. So I'm gonna click this button here that says Share, and I'm going to scroll down until I get to the Download option. I'm clicking that, and I'm gonna save it as a PNG. Now that it's fully downloaded, I'm gonna open up Microsoft Word. I'm using Word because it's the most ubiquitous word processor program, but you can also use Google Docs if you don't have Word. That's a-okay. So first thing I'm going to do to make this so that I can print from it is I'm going to reduce all of the margins to zero. So I'm going here into Layout. I'm going to Margins here on the left side and I'm hitting the arrow. Now I have a last custom setting of zero inches for all of them, but if you need to create a custom setting, you go down here to custom margins, and where it says margins, top left, bottom right, I'm going to put zero for all of these. And when you hit okay, Word is going to yell at you and be like, holy moly, there's no margins on this document. Are you all right? And you're gonna say ignore, because it's gonna want you to add margins. So we're gonna not do that. And now we're going to insert our picture. So I hit insert here on the top, pictures, and from this device, I'm gonna go into wherever it was saved. For me, it's uh, under downloads. And I'm going to insert it here. And then while it's selected, I'm going to hit control C and then control V. And look, there's two on the page and now three on the page. I'll zoom out so you can see that. So on this full page, we have three labels. Now I can go in and print, and we will have our labels. Let's check it out. And here we go. Here's our final printed label. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the type of paper that you might choose. This is a standard white printer paper, but it's lighter in weight because I actually got the eco-friendly kind that's partially recycled. So this might be a little bit better than your standard heavyweight white paper for wrapping your soaps. What I like to use is called newsprint. So this type of paper has a different texture to it. It's the same kind of paper that's used for coloring books. So if you understand that texture, you'll understand what this feels like. And I like it because it's not white. It doesn't look like it was printed at your home computer, but it's still thick enough that it'll give really nice protection to your soap. The third option that I have here is vellum. Vellum is transparent, so you'll be able to see your soap design through the paper. This might be a really good option if you want people to be able to see how cool your soap looks, but still have it be fully wrapped. So this is the third option here. Regardless of what you choose to do, you're going to want to slice these into three and a half inch labels before you start wrapping. So let's get that done. And here's our final label. Now let's get started on the actual wrapping. What I'm going to do is put this upside down on my flat surface and I'm going to zoom you in. 
Alrighty. So here we go. We've got our soap right here. We want to put it on the label so that the label is going to be centered into the center of the soap. So I'm putting it here, being able to see a little bit of it, and I'm going to move it down until I feel like, okay, that's a good amount of soap that is covered by the label and it's going to be nice and even. Now to get your label to adhere to your soap, not move around while you're wrapping everything, and then also to stay on your soap once it's all wrapped up, I recommend using this. This is a two-sided tape dispenser, not really to tape. It's kind of like glue dots that you roll onto a surface. And this is about $8. They have a couple different sizes. You can get them at Walmart, Office Max, or even online. And by the way, I'm gonna put links in the description box below for all of the things that I'm using here. So the paper, the adhesive here, um, and then even links to Canva and any other um, resources that you might need. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn this sideways. And on this bottom edge, I'm going to put a line of this uh, glue dot. Okay, and you can see, I don't know if you can see it actually, it's slightly blue. I'm going to wrap this tightly around my soap and stick it down. Next, I'm gonna rotate it back the other way and I'm gonna put the glue dot here so that it sticks to the other side of the label. Okay, now when I wrap this part, I wanna push the label ahead so that it's as nice and tight as possible. And then I'm going to pull the label up and over and adhere it to itself. Now we've got the label mostly on there and now we just need to enclose it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna push down this top part until it's completely flush with the bar of soap. And then I'm going to pinch this flap to create a crease. And then I'm going to push that crease up against the soap and make another crease on the bottom flap. Now I'm gonna repeat that on this side. So I'm pushing the top flap down, I'm making a crease, and then I'm pushing the crease onto the soap and making another crease on the bottom. Now we've got it mostly wrapped, but this bottom portion is gonna to need to be wrapped up as well. This is going to be stuck on here with this double-sided tape. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Tiny little bits. If you have enough room, you can apply it across, but I didn't. And you can either just take your bar and fold it down, or you can use your fingers to fold it up. And there we go, nice and neat, and it's fully wrapped. Now you may need to try a couple of times wrapping this uh, before you get it fully centered and the way that you like it. You can even see that I need to figure out how to make it a little bit darker on canvas. Maybe use a different font here so that it's fully readable. You're gonna have to play around with this kind of thing. It's not something that's foolproof. Um, but once you have it nailed, you'll be able to do it every single time and your soaps will look beautiful. All right, and that's it. That's how you make your own custom designed soap labels that you print at home. And I think that it's super easy to do. It might take a little bit of getting used to, playing around with Canva, but I know that you can do it. If you're interested in trying this, you can check out the description box below where I'm gonna have all of the links of all of the things that I use, as well as a link for a free template that you can download from my website and it'll help get you started right away. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a like and a subscribe to show the YouTube algorithm that you like this content and you wanna see more of it. And also so that you can be alerted every time I put out a new video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next one and until then, be well.